Good afternoon. It's Tuesday. It's March 29. We want to stand before the Lord and have him recognize us as one of his. Does he know us and, and do we know him? First John chapter 5 and verse 20 says, And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Now, John uses two words for the word know, K-N-O-W. He uses two words for the word know in this short uh, five-chapter letter of First John, both of which are used in his final instructions uh, for his readers. When we look at one word, it's used 25 times throughout this short epistle, and it emphasizes knowledge that is gained through personal experience. The other word is, is used 17 times, and it emphasizes mental understanding and comprehension. So we have an intellectual confidence. We know that he was manifested to take away our sins. 1 John 3, 5. I, I'm, I'm going to give you several verses. I won't read each of them, but they're all in 1 John here. I won't, I won't read them. I'll give you the reference. So 1 John 3, 5 tells us that he was manifested to take away our sins. 1 John 3, 14 says, we know we've passed from death unto life because of him. 1 John 5, 13, we know we have eternal life. 1 John 5, 19, we know that we are of God. 1 John 5, 20, we know that the Son of God has come. And so <clears throat> all of this head knowledge is, of course, straight from the Word of God. It, it's something that we know because God told us in His Word. So these pieces of knowledge that the Word of God gives to us are the basic foundation blocks of our belief in the, in the work of Christ. But there's also personal experience knowledge. A couple of these uh, references, 1 John 2 and verse 3, we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So we're doing what he's told us to do. We're experiencing obedience, and we know him because we know that we're doing what he told us to do. First um, <clears throat> John 2, 18, there are many antichrists in the world whereby we know that it is the last time. So we, we know by experience. We see around us what's happening. First uh, John 5, 2, by this we know, that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. Let me jump over to Philippians. <clears throat> There's a scripture in Philippians that tells us that we uh, have the knowledge of God's word as we experience and work out our salvation, Philippians 2.12. So when we combine the two, the two kinds of knowledge, the, the intellectual knowledge and the experiential knowledge, then we as a result, Philippians 2.12, work out our own salvation. Being born again is just the beginning. We need to be born again. It's a great beginning. It's a necessary beginning. It's a needed beginning. We need to be born again, but it's only the beginning. Then we should begin to take steps and grow in grace and grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that we can stand before him and he will immediately know us and we will know him. We will not we will not hear the word that we read in the gospel, depart from me, I never knew you. But we will hear, well done, good and faithful servant, enter in to the joy of the Lord. That's what I look forward to, don't you? That's God's word for today, Tuesday, March 29. What will you do with it? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for the knowledge that we have about you. We thank you for the knowledge that we have uh, personally and experientially in knowing you and walking with you. Lord, you know us. You know our voice. We know you. We know your voice. Lord, and you are the good shepherd that we follow, and we thank you for that. Help us today, Lord, to serve you, to be obedient to you, to please you, to bring you honor and glory in, in all that we do and all that we say. We thank you for your help in, in all the things that you do for us, Lord. You provide for us. You bless us. You heal us. You restore us. Lord, we ask for your help in, in all of those things, Lord, you know what your people need. You know our needs, and so we ask for your help. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for your, for your goodness and your blessings to us. Watch over us and keep us one more day, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Praise the Lord. It's Tuesday. Wednesday we'll be in the sanctuary at 7 o'clock. We're beginning season 2, episode 1. Season 2, episode 1 of The Chosen. We'll view that tomorrow. It's a little bit longer. It's a, about an hour and a minute. So we're going to get started right at the beginning. So don't be late tomorrow night. You'll miss a minute of it. But um, we look forward to being together. We watch the video, then we talk a little bit about what we saw on the screen, and and uh, we pray together after that. So it's always a good time. It's encouraging, and, and I'm sure you'll be built up in your faith. So if you can join us uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday in the sanctuary, look forward to seeing you. Have a great evening. God bless you.